Say, who am I? The lion, the Judah, the preacher, the teacher, look, I'm trying to reach you. Who am I? No longer the man who says he has the man plan. <laughs> who am I? Thinking about self and nobody else. Let me keep that to myself. I'm submitted to God, his will, his way. What else should I say? Chapter 3, starting at verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Uh-huh. I'm going to say that again. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, Tampa Bay? Uh-huh. And the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord had not done it? And the Lord had not done it? That means that y'all think y'all know God, but you don't really know him. He kills, he creates life. Give me that. I'm going to read that again because I don't think our people understand, black people, black men, black women. We don't understand. The book of Amos chapter 3, starting at verse 6 says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. What's going on? Look around, huh? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? Bring it out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 7. For I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Stop right there. Uh, let's try that again. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light. I form the what? I form the light. Oh, yeah, we all know that the most high God made the light. He created the sun, oh, so forth and so on. Go ahead. I make peace. I said, he said, he makes peace. This is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We ain't talking about Buddha. We ain't talking about Alahalamahakahat, whatever. We're not talking about it. We're talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Continue. I make peace. I make peace, he says. And, and create evil. And he do what? And create evil. He creates the evil. The God that the Christian, the so-called Christian serves, he says he creates peace and evil as well. And so we're out here today as your brothers, as your brothers in Christ to warn you. Bring it out, huh? Death is on your doorstep. I hope you heard me. I'm going to say that one more time and then you continue. Death is on your doorstep for our people. Go ahead. Finish. And create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. I, the who? I, the Lord, do all no, these not, things. No, not grandmama or oh God. What? I, the Lord, do all my, my, these my, things. No, my grandma took me to church and I know God and, and, and he that ain't him. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord, God Almighty, he's the one who does all of these things. He orchestrates it. What else you got, Op? We're going to jump over here to Jeremiah 15. Because th this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will, be, I will be glad and rejoice therein. I will be glad. Bring it out. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. Stop right now. This Bible that y'all been reading now, or you claim somebody that you know read out of it, or you wrote, wrote, it tells you what? My people are foolish. It's saying y'all stupid, you're dumb. You've been working for the white man for so long, you're caught in this system. You don't even know what's going on, you're blinded. Continue. They have not known me. They don't even know who I am. They claim that they know God. They claim I pray at night every night. They claim that God know my heart. But you don't know a God that no name. Continue. And they have none understanding. No understanding. You don't know what you're talking about. You're lost. Our people are lost. Can't you see? Continue. They are wise to do evil. You're wise to do evil. Y'all know this the scam city? Huh? 
Wise, you're smart, intelligent to do evil and wrong. Continue. But to do good, they have no knowledge. To do good, y'all have no knowledge. You don't know how to help your brother when he down. You don't know how to help your sister when she aching and feeling hurtful inside. You don't know how to raise your children correctly to keep them from going astray. And you know what astray leads to the ditch, six feet under, in jail, and them the only two options. What you got, Op? Give me what is good. Because there's none good. But, the, whew, but God. None good. But God. We're out here to help y'all out because our people are stupid inside, as the scripture says. I didn't say it. The scripture, the Bible. Oh, I guess none of y'all read y'all Bible no more. Okay. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore, the law. The what? Hold on. Go ahead. Wherefore, the law is holy. The law is holy. That word holy means set apart. It's what? Continue. And the commandment holy. Continue. And just and good. It's holy. Just and good. What you talking about, Hazaid? The law of God. You following the white man laws? You ain't got no problem with that. Or you sneaking, you scrubbing. Hiding what you're doing. Scamming. Read that again, Art. The law of the Lord is just and good. That is correct. You are the children of Israel. You are the ones this Bible been talking about, and we still don't get it. Right now, you are breaking what's called the Sabbath. The Lord worked for six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. And guess what? He made in your image. You are made in his image, like you. We are made in God's image, and so we are to be like him, walk like him, and talk like him. You got something out? Yeah. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Stop right now. These people in this society work you seven days a week. They break your back. They got you working overtime on top of all the time. But yet, though, you don't respect the Lord's day. It is a day of rest. It was meant for you. The Most High God said the Sabbath was made for man. You got to take a break sometimes. The Most High hallowed this day. It is holy and set apart. It's the seventh day. And guess who changed it? The Roman Catholic Church. That's right. They moved it to where the Sabbath is on the Sunday. So they got everybody off track about here. Everybody. All right. But we're going to correct it today because my people, listen, this is for the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the ones at the bottom of the society. I'll bring it up. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 31. And 13. Speak thou also. Unto the children of Israel. But the children of who? The children of Israel. The generation of who? The children of Israel. The babies and the children of what? Israel. Saying, Verily, my Sabbath shall ye keep it, for it is a sign between me. No, no, no. I got some work to do. I need, you know what I'm saying? I got to make the money. What? It is a sign between me and you. A sign like the peace sign, like it tells you something. Continue. Throughout your generation. Throughout your what? Throughout your generation. Your grandkids, grandkids, on oh, their grandkids, grandkids, twice removed, whatever. Continue. That ye may know. You gonna know what? That ye may know that I am the Lord that sanctify you. He's the one that has washed you. This is your opportunity to hear the word of God. And I ain't talking about your ears. I'm talking about the part inside of you, the inner man. The inner woman needs to hear this message. Continue. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, 
I see you, brother. Keep the Sabbath. Continue. For it is holy. It is holy. If you believe in the God that you say you believe in, then let me see what you're working with. Continue. And it, and I say, and it is holy unto you. It's holy unto you. The Most High God ordained the Sabbath day, the day of rest for you, for his people. And you working like a slut. God, they going to keep you slave. Everyone that defiled it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off. Cut off? What? We'll say that again. I don't think I heard it. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. You know what that word cut off means? Y'all know, can we use it as a piece of vernacular in our own uh, culture? Boy, I'm about to cut that boy off. I'm about to purge him. Huh? Cut off. It means he going to off you. You dead. He going to purge you. Because you ain't no good to him. Yeah, that's the real God. He real thuggish and ruggish. I'm being real. He just ain't the God. That, oh, oh, he going to give you this. And whenever you call him, he going to do that. He more than that. Continue. Go ahead. What you got? The book of John, chapter 9. In verse 31, yeah, yeah, it's in y'all same Bibles you got at home on the lampstand. Collecting dust, huh? Ain't being put to use. It's knowledge in that book. It's your history. Go ahead. The book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, nah, he uh, he heard my grandma. He grandma heard my grandma. Go ahead. Wait. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. The Lord don't hear sinners. Well, I'm going to say it again. The Lord don't hear sinners. What sin? Transgression of the law. You're breaking it. Go ahead. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will. Oh, no, no, that's not all. I worship God in spirit and truth and truth and so forth and so on. You're the God dang old lie. And the truth ain't in you. We bring out the real truth. Get hip to what we're saying here, and your lives may be spared and saved. It's called salvation. Yeah, you heard about it. Go ahead. Uh, John 9, 31. Now we know God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his, his will, him he heareth. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. All right, so stop right there. So God ain't gonna hear you. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be point blank, blank, frank, uh, frank with you. Blunt to the blunt. He don't hear you if you ain't following His rules, if you ain't being obedient His law. He don't want to hear that. Just like your daddy, he don't want to hear that. I told you this. I don't want to hear it if you don't do it. Continue. The book of Ezekiel, chapter three, verse seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Stop right now. Me and this brother right here, we have been called by God to come out here and preach the truth to you. It may not sound pretty, you may not like it, but it is what it is. Literally, we are right now breaking the Sabbath by buying and selling. Not only that, you you. But these people that are in here are working on the Sabbath. You're not supposed to do this. I'm just going to keep it 300 because a lot of the people out here claiming to keeping it 100 ain't keeping a quarter. Ain't keeping it a buck. I'm helping y'all out. And I'm from this hood. I'm from this hood. Born and raised. Continue. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore... Hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Stop right there. Y'all know that book in the Bible, that's Ezekiel, that prophet, right? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob called upon him to deliver a message. And we are doing the same thing and giving that, that message to you today. Adults, tell your children. Children, listen with a good ear. Because your future and your lives depend on it. Keep the Sabbath 
If you do this, you won't go to hell. Y'all know what Prince of Hell called? Oh, hell no. Nah. He don't know what he's talking about. Did he just call me I'm hell? No, it's a placement for those who transgress the law of God. You know, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, yada, yada, yada. It's the truth. Then you wonder why people can't act right or get right. Bojangles out here. Continue. Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. Stop right now. I want you to read that, and I want you to read that again, because y'all hear me out here jumping and dumping and doing this here, but this is the real deal. Continue. Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. What makes you wicked when you don't do what the Father God says, the one who created heaven, earth, the moon, the sun, the stars, the sky, the land, you? Repeat that again. Start over. Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. Stop right there. He's saying, look, I love you enough to give you a warning. I'm sending people out here to come talk to you, to come show you what way it is. This is the way. You're going the wrong way, fam. You're going the wrong way. Turn around. About face. Turn from your wicked ways and serve the Most High God. Pledge your allegiance to him. Continue. And thou shalt give him out warning from me. Uh, Noah speaketh, speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life. Stop. If we don't say nothing to save your life, what's going to happen to us? That same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Now, that's a heavy toll to pay. That's right. That's a, that's a burden that no man wants on their shoulders. And that's why we are our brothers, keeper. I'm going to look after this brother right here to my, to my right. Read that again, Up. The verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way. The same, I mean, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is going to require our blood. He going to touch, he going to take care of us and touch us, take us up out of here if we do not come out here and tell our people who may be in a form of ignorance right now, form of ignorance. You don't know. You don't know about God and his statutes, laws, and commandments. You don't know that you're breaking the Sabbath day. You're not supposed to be working. You're not supposed to be buying or selling. But you okay with getting the extra eight plus hours and half time and half for them pennies? Continue. Leviticus chapter nineteen seventeen. We teaching the law today. We teaching the law because every of these pastors saying that the law is done away with. How you figure? How you figure? Continue. Verse seventeen. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Stop right there. This is from your Bible that you got sitting on your lampstand, collecting all that dust. Repeat that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Repeat that one more time, Bob. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. It is our job, black man, black woman, to rebuke, correct one another when we see somebody going on. It's simple. It's simple. That's how your community is able to thrive when you're not self-sabotaging one another, fighting up against one another. What was that last part again? We said what? Thou shall not suffer sin upon him. We shall not suffer sin upon you. One of the greatest commandments was love thy, love thy brother, thy neighbor as thyself. And that's what we're doing. We're showing love to you by giving you the truth 
the knowledge, the awareness that you are the children of Israel. You are the so-called Jew. That's right. So-called black man, huh? Hispanics and Native Americans. Go ahead. All right, Leviticus 19, 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Stop right now. We in the TikTok era. Now I'm talking to them babies. We in the TikTok era. Everybody and their mama shaking their behinds, soft porn on your screen. The daughters of Zion, the children pouring themselves out in promiscuous ways that no parent would approve of. Continue. Thou shalt not prostitute thy daughter. Oh, speaking life, continue. To cause her to be a whore. So you should not prostitute your daughter. Put her in skimpy clothes. Right. Up your butt. Huh? Come on. The Bible says that that behavior, you doing it yourself, your daughter watches everything you do. They are a product of you. Continue. Thou do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Least the lamb fall to whoredom. Stop right now. I seen a I seen a TikTok. A young lady said that my mama made me a hoe. I just want y'all to know. I said, what the I'm about to, I'm logging off. I'm logging off. I said, where they do that at? Where they do that at? I hope not here in Tampa, Florida. Continue. Least the land fall to whoredom. The, the land gonna fall to who? Whoredom. Who? And the land become full oh, of no. wickedness. Oh, no. That's the name that we call today the translation. Back then it also used to be a whore or whoredom. That translates into thought. Holes. Huh? And there are different area codes as Ludacris would say. Huh? Continue. Woo. My people, my people, my people, my people, my people, my people. You have been bamboozled. You've been taken from the front and the back. Wake the hell up. If not, your day of judgment will be at hand. And I'm preaching judgment. Raise these children up as they should be raised. The lion, the Judah, the preacher, the teacher. Look, I'm trying to reach you. Who am I? No longer the man who says he has the master plan. Who am I? Thinking about self and nobody else. Let me keep that to myself. I'm submitted to God, his will, his way. What else should I say? Addicted to money, success. Put on a spiritual vest. Ready to bless. A servant, a soldier. I thought I told you. <laughs> who am I? We're the slight the nations who preach the seat. Now drop the beat, then take us home. Home alone, but I'm not alone. I'm in my father's house. Now I preach the kingdom with the streets of gold. God made me whole. Now I'm in the zone just to keep the law. That's what I got to do just to keep his grace while I'm in this place. Who am I? The lion, the Judah, the preacher, the teacher. Look, I'm trying to reach you. Who am I? No longer the man who says he has the master plan. And if you ain't keeping these laws, you ain't spit. God dang it. That's what we're talking about. See, every time we come together, we come together with truth. This is what we do. Music from us to you. All praises to the most high.